Thanks. Thank you, Bernard. Let's give Bernard a uh, clap. <laughs> okay, uh, we are taking a tea break. Half an hour. Please, uh, some are still having a tea break. Uh, we're going to go ahead. Uh, our next speaker for today is um, in your agenda. It says Mr. Doug Berlin, but this is Mr. Udi. Um, he's from Sangoma Technology. Sangoma is a company based in Canada. So his topic for today will be revolutionizing the high volume call space. Let's give, a clap. Uh, let's give Mr. Udi uh, a clap. Okay, so thank you everybody for coming here to Astro Conference. My name is Udi. I'm based in Hong Kong and I am responsible for Sangoma's uh, sales and business development in the whole Asia Pacific. So Vietnam definitely is one of our target markets. And for me, it's the first time here. I'm very excited to give this speech. I've been with Sangoma for a few months now, and before that I used to work for another company in the industry called Audio Codes. So uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any question, please ask me after the presentation, or you can come to our stand, to our booth, and I'll be happy to answer any question. You got my email here, very simple, ud at sangoma.com. So I start with Asterix. I mean, this is one of the main focuses that we are here. Um, Asterix is a good thing. It's actually a very good thing. It helps us a lot with our products. It helps us to facilitate application that we want to do. Uh, we all know that Asterix starts with IPPBX, and IPPBX is still the majority that uh, is the majority that is used as an application by by Asterix, and it does a, a great job there. It, it's really great to see how Asterix uh, works with IPBX. Um, Asterix is a good tool when you use it in, in the SMB environment or in the enterprise environment, where basically you have, um, let's say, few agents or few extensions that you need to use. But uh, um, uh, you can see that there is some limitation in using a software where you basically want to scale and you want to grow to a large number or to a big system where basically you need maybe hundreds of calls or hundreds of extensions. So here's the point. Um, if you reach few hundreds, let's say I uh, just took here 500 as, a, as an example. If you reach around 500 calls, then definitely um, you start to get more complexity on your software and you need much more resources, CPUs, servers, and so on to basically uh, be, to enable your, your product. So with that, there is a, a there's the thought that we as Sangoma, we are, Sangoma is a hardware company. We are basically, uh, like Vanita presented us, we are based in Canada. Uh, we started with uh, digital cards and then moved to voice cards. And we are coming from the hardware world. So we meet Asterix from the other side. And what Sangoma came up with is basically the idea that if you want to scale up and you want to use more uh, of your Asterix, it is better that you have some hardware to, to support it. So this is what happens when you don't have the hardware, right? So if you don't have the hardware, you increase the load, you increase the number of channels, then definitely one day you have a crash. Your system will crash and you will not be able to use it. So Sangoma is not changing Asterix. Sangoma is working in conjunction with Asterix. We just make Asterix better. We make it better by basically enabling with our hardware to go for higher density, higher density boards. So I'm talking about hundreds and thousands of extensions and calls. So if you guys are targeting uh, service providers or carriers, you will see that these are the numbers that uh, you need to use if you want to sell such products. So how basically we meet Asterix, how, how we work. Sangoma has a software stack called 
WAN pipe. And uh, lots of people are asking me what is WAN pipe and how it's related to Asterix. So basically, a WAN pipe is a utility. It's a utility that's coming from, from Sengoma, and it's enabled you to configure our hardware and to improve system performance when you are using the board. So you basically can see that, uh, that the one pipe is based on is based on asterisks and is using a, a Chan Daddy as well, and it's all on top of our Sangoma hardware. So we are working together with asterisks, and one pipe is the middleware. It's the software layer in the middle that helps you to connect the asterisks to our boards. So you, can, so you can see here there is a complete synergy between Asterix, one pipe, and, and the Sangoma hardware. So that's one pipe, and working with Asterix on one side and working with the boards on the other side. So how does it work? Um, basically, we use a methodology that is called a chunk size. And we what we have come up when we uh, we're designing our boards is to implement what is called a variable chunk chunk size. That means you basically can change uh, the size of these buckets, the size of the information that you gather uh, from the boards up to the daddy. So, for example, you know when you capture uh, when you capture a da data stream, a voice stream and you basically uh, put it together in a chunk, you need to send it to the software to take care of it, to recognize what is the data and to do the right actions. So if you are using like uh, interrupts, which are very frequent, because you catch a small chunk size, you need a lot of interrupts. And the more you have calls, the more interrupts you need. So what we basically do we are not catching a small, a small chunks or small buckets, but we actually catch a big size of the data, and then we pass it to the one pipe and the asterisks. And by doing this, we need less interrupts. And when you need less interrupts, you can have more calls, and your CPU is free to do other things. So basically, the magic of using the boards from Sengoma is that your chunk sizes are bigger, and then your interrupts, you have less and less interrupts. So that's how basically, with our products, we are able to reach a situation where you can deal with thousands of calls. For example, we have a transcoding card, which is the size like this, but it can do 4,000 calls. This is a very interesting uh, diagram. You can see the system load on your server when you don't have any calls and when you have 500 calls. So this is the, the, the load as a function of the chunk size, as a function of how many bytes we gather in every interrupt. So you can see when the chunk size is very small, you have many interrupts. And when you have many interrupts, you have a high load on your server. And this is without calls. So when you add calls, your CPU will need to work much, much faster and will have a higher, um, higher uh, use rate of the CPU itself. So you can see you can reach up to 25 with 596 calls, except to 15, except compared to 15% without calls. But if you use a chunk size which is not to every 10 milliseconds, yeah, or every um, then use it a bigger chunk size, then definitely you can see that what happened is the overload of the CPU going down. And then you can do all the other software functionalities that you want, such like the IPvBx or the call center software and stuff like this. Your CPU will be free to do other things. So basically using 